The following is a conversation between Matthias de Stefano, referred to as me, and his higher self, referred to as I am. The subject is the emotional aspect of the crown chakra in Libra, dated 13th of October 2020. Me. When one analyzes the main characteristics of Libra, one of the first that comes to mind is doubt. Perhaps because of the shape of the scale that vacillates between two different weights, trying to find the balance, it is that we attribute to Libra this attribute, if it can be said that way, of not being able to decide only for one thing. I am. Exactly because of this. When what one seeks is harmony and balance between the parts, the last thing one will do is to turn to imbalance by choosing only one of the extremes. If all your energy is available to just one of your arms, then the whole body loses its balance, and the basic essence of this constellation is broken. Thus, the search for balance implies not losing sight of either of the two options. Me. To doubt today is seen as a weakness in the face of an individual's decision, determination in life. I am. Today's society does not know what the middle terms are. Either you are for or against. You are in or out. The answer is yes or no. They even do it within the balance movements. The non-discrimination movements end up discriminating, since discriminating means segregating, understanding where everything goes. And when grouped together, they generate just the opposite effect to what they expect. Because every extreme is negative, and that is what Libra remembers, we will talk about the importance of determination in things. But to be able to put all the intention into something and choose correctly, you must first live in balance, find balance in life. Today's society has been structured under the belief that one must be decisive in their decisions without weighing the consequences, that everything is win or lose. To tie is weak. Me. So you're saying that the current model of competitive society is wrong? That states should regulate capitalist competition? I am. To think that would be like believing that the heart is an organ of administration of blood instead of a distributor of it. Of course not. Competition is based on the struggle to achieve something. I would prefer to refer to a more congruent than competent society. Me. What would be the difference? I am. Competent comes from com meaning with and petere meaning put your chest Fight, ask for more, argue for the conquest of an object, person or territory. Congruent comes from com, meaning with, and gruere, that is, to coincide, which has a logical relationship in a specific time and space. Thus, society would be more Libran and less Aryan, in the sense that they would find what is fair and each one could undertake life from coherence, giving and receiving in harmony, as their giving and receiving is logical with the environment and not competitive. Me, how does doubt help for this? I am. Do you think what you're doing is the right thing to do? Me, I don't know. I always wonder. I am. That's why you improve, right? Me, I always try to improve what I do so that it is better understood, so that I feel comfortable, so that it fits the task, the moment. I am. If you had been 100% certain of everything you thought the first time, you would have failed. Me. Because? I am. Because certainty is the placebo of ignorance. Me. Wow, what a defining description of certainty. I am. Certainty is the moment of understanding. Eureka, when the light bulb turns on inside, there is clarity and you can identify the forms, the why. 
Certainty means decided, precise, incised, concise. They all have the suffix ciso, caidere, which means to cut. That is to say that it takes a part of the whole, that it is cut into parts, that it decides on one option among many. To be certain of something is to eliminate all other possibilities. Being certain that the sky is light blue makes you unable to see the possibility that it really isn't. Certainty is the points in a network. They are the nodes at the crossroads of a network. Certainty gives logic to the interconnection of things, like a traffic light at the corner of an intersection of two avenues. Certainty crosses the three lights of the subconscious, unconscious and conscious, indicating our direction. However, you cannot live in the corner. You cannot cling to certainty to move forward because certainty keeps you rigid at one point, static, without feeling the possibilities in the framework. The journey is the doubt, the question, the uncertainty, the search. The doubt is the connections in the network. They are the paths, the experiences, the avenues that lead to new destinations of certainties. Me. This is why I cannot base my life on certainties, but on doubts, taking doubts as potentialities. I am. Certainty creates enemies. Doubt generates allies. Me. It seems the opposite of what we have been taught. Why such a paradox? I am. A system based on certainties generates patriotism, partisanship, religion, nationalism. A system based on doubt generates scholars, philosophers, scientists, people who are not satisfied with an answer and need to investigate further. For this reason, the first thing that a state seeks to control or degrade is education. If instead of doubts you teach certainties, you will obtain an ignorant people who do not know how to discover for themselves the potentialities of existence. Me. That is to say that doubt does not consist in exalting the inability to make a decision, but rather the real attribute of doubt, which is the ability to seek more, to delve deeper into certainties. I am. Find the congruence, then. Do not compete for certainty, but understand certainties as anchors in the path of doubt, which is a divine gift for learning. Allowing yourself to doubt your beliefs and your certainties does not make you weak. It makes you flexible, permeable to different positions. Me. That's why one of the great jokes about Libra is that they don't have their own opinion, but instead adapt according to the occasion to the ideas of those around them. I am. This emotional attribute of Libra is permeability. However, in imbalance is the loss of essence. It is a ship drifting in the middle of different wind currents. When you are certain of yourself, of your being, When you position yourself on your axis, you build the mast of your person, and from it you can deploy the sails that you will use to be propelled by the winds. You do not deny any wind, for all will be your allies. If you go north, the south wind will be your ally. If you go south, the north wind will be your friend. All winds, currents of thought, beliefs, will have something to contribute to you. If you know where you're going, you'll know how to use them. If you have no destiny, you will be a prisoner of the ideas and currents of others. Me. Doubt and certainty, then, are like navigation and ports. A sailor cannot cling to the certainty of a port. He must learn to let go, to navigate the currents of doubt, where he learns, obtains new visions, and discovers new certainties, enriching himself in life. 
I am. And that's how they both work. Therefore, welcome to life. Believe everything, but believe nothing. Me. I just know that I know nothing. I am. Become the captain of your ship. Use your doubts and uncertainties as the winds that will propel you to the different ports of certainty in the vast interdimensional world.